Joining us now, Pastor Robert Jeffress from the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Texas. He's also a Fox Business contributor. Pastor, I, it must break your heart to see something like that. And Raphael Warnock saying this is Christian preaching at its best. Isn't he wrong? This mm. is Christian preaching at its worst. It absolutely is, Greg, and not just because that sermon by Jeremiah Wright invoked the phrase, God damn America. This is preaching at its worst because it represents a misuse of preaching. Jeremiah Wright and I guess Warnock all subscribe to what's called liberation theology. They believe that the whole purpose of preaching and Christianity is to liberate this earth from social injustice. That is never going to happen in this lifetime. I mean, Jesus understood that. He lived under oppression under the Roman government, but he had very little to say about that. He knew the only way to change the world was to change the hearts of individuals who live in the world. And that was the centerpiece of his preaching, people's personal relationship with God. And that's what true great preaching is. It's Christ-centered preaching, not social justice preaching. Uh, the Pope's native Argentina legalizing abortion, you saw the crowds cheering there. What yeah. repercussions does this have throughout uh, South America? Well, it, it represents a holocaust being launched against the most defenseless group in society, the unborn. And I have to say this, Greg, I mean, under President Trump, you'll remember that the president reinstated the Mexico City policy that uh, forbade the using of tax dollars to support abortions internationally. Joe Biden has said he's going to uh, rescind that policy, meaning your dollars, my tax dollars are going to be used to support abortions in Argentina and throughout the world. That's what we have to look forward to under the Biden-Harris presidency. It's going to be an administration of death. Pastor, I was looking at a recent Gallup poll that shows that Americans now put their own mental health at a two-decade long low. How can we, you're such a positive person, which is why I enjoy talking to you. How can we transform a heartbreaking 2020 into a positive, optimistic 2021? Well, I would say the first step is to make it a resolve to be in church regularly in 2021. Now, Greg, sitting in a church doesn't make you a Christian any more than sitting in a McDonald's makes you a hamburger. But there's something positive that happens when we go to church. You know, we're being bombarded by the secular culture and telling us we're just victims in a random world. We're victims of whatever any virus or any other person wants to do to us. That's not true. Going to church reminds us that there is a God who is in control of our lives. Uh, Solomon said, remember your creator in the days of your youth before the days of trouble come. This pandemic caused many people to come face to face with their own uh, mortality. And I just think that the best time to ever start a relationship with God was 20 years ago, but the next best time is today. And I hope that'll be a resolve for many of our viewers in the coming year. Being right with God gives you a peace of mind that no pandemic can take away. Many thanks, Pastor Robert Jeffress. Uh, God bless you. Thanks for being with us today. And we'll be right back.